In the last two years, MU has enacted a hiring freeze, leaving many positions unfilled and increasing the workload on others without compensation for the additional duties. What would you do to support higher education and draw quality faculty and staff to Missouri's higher institutions of learning? Thank you, Chad. Uh, higher education is a significant problem. Obviously, the state is supporting less than they used to. But really, when you step back and look at the issue, we, what we've got is middle class families are getting squeezed. Because of that lack of state support, we're seeing tuition skyrocketing. And the newest graduation gift that everybody gets now for graduation is debt. And that debt is slowing down our economy. We've got to break free. I did not support selling away the one agency in state government designed to make college more affordable, Mohila. The one agency that could buy down loans. The one agency for loan forgiveness. The one agency that could make, make a difference. Now, I went to the University of Missouri and got a great education. My wife, my sons, hopefully will do the same. They're in the process of getting a great education. I've laid out a clear plan for college affordability for the middle class called the Missouri Promise. It's a really simple plan. You take the A-plus program we have in the community colleges and you turn it into a four-year program. You make kids eligible because of what they do. And you lay out for middle class families making $80,000 a year or less, a tuition-free opportunity for four years of education. If they're willing to do community service, keep their grades good, stay off drugs, we'll get four years debt-free. That's the human capital we need to invest. That's the beginning of a step, making sure that we have more kids able to afford, more families able to get those educations, absent the debt that we're now seeing out there. Thank you. Gregory Thompson. Well, education, I guess, is my forte. And uh, we have to, again, keep the government out of it. You know, the, the, uh, every time we start taking from the people, in one area, something loses somewhere else. We do have to do what's necessary to keep our higher education in force, but we can't always go to the people and ask for more money on things. Our children do need the, do need the education. We're, we're now uh, having a time when they take remedial in college because we're not getting it in the uh, K-12 system. And as a result, the, the cost is getting higher because instead of four years for college, it's taken five years. We need to do, uh, again, it needs to be something where the private industry, seeing that it, it's uh, something that helps each of their uh, businesses, start putting, putting into that. And each person's education has to come from, from the families. I know that a lot of people may not like to hear that, but we need to quit taking from other people for ourselves in anything that we do in this state. Thank you. Kenny Halshaw. I often talk, Chad, about the Missouri dream, and I'm a product of it, a kid from the farm who came to this university and got a world-class education in agricultural economics. We are 47th in the country as far as our commitment to the, in the state to higher education, and that is unacceptable. Now, with respect to Missouri Promise, my problem with the Attorney General's plan, one thing is it pushes kids toward community college. And I'm a supporter of community colleges, but we shouldn't pick community colleges at the expense of a four-year institution. Uh, we put forward a plan for increasing needs-based scholarships, uh, which, uh, again, helps make that Missouri dream available for kids who can't afford it. But more importantly than that, for us to get up the rungs of the ladder, well, first of all, we have to start thinking of our colleges and institutions not like ivory towers, but as engines for the new economy. And the fact is that we aren't preparing our workforce sufficiently, especially in knowledge-based or technology-based jobs that we have to recruit here. And so I put forward yesterday, as it turns out, a higher education funding formula so that we can begin to focus on a steady stream of funding here. Uh, we've got, uh, I put forward a plan called the Missouri Prosperity Initiative that focuses on world-class education in biotechnology, math, engineering, and science. And we have to include distance learning so that we can have community colleges and technical schools as part of this effort to get our young people ready for the new economy. Andy Finkenstein. So I'll actually address what you said, and that is how do you hire more teachers for Mizzou rather than having a hiring freeze. 
And the, and the answer to that is you need more revenue on the income side in order to support teachers whom you're going to have to pay more in order to get the quality teachers that you need. Remember how I said that uh, we were going to reduce taxes and reduce the uh, size of the government. <sighs> it's a hard problem because uh, how do you do it, right? Uh, well, you start by reducing taxes. It'll leave more money in the pockets of everyone here for you to spend as you see fit without some middleman getting in the way. After all, who knows best how to spend your hard-earned dollars, you or hundreds of legislators and rule makers who work in our state government? And you know the answer already, and that's what libertarians fight for every day. Your right to do as you please with your money, with your time, your treasure, and your talents. In order to hire the students, sorry, hire the teachers that need, you've got to have more students, you've got to have more students, you've got to have more money. And as far as I'm concerned, I'll ha be happy to help support education on my own personal basis by contributing to scholarship funds and whatnot that will help support you.